What's your vision of the overall role that Ill City plays in like the landscape of the hip hop scene? Right. Where's where do they leave their mark? So we represent Jersey. We represent Jersey. We represent Jersey hip hop. If if hip hop is not aware of how much of a presence and how much of a place that Jersey plays in hip hop, we wanted to make sure that we showcase that in this project and in this movement, you know? You know, talking about the role that it plays, I wanted to kind of get everybody's opinion on um, like a this or that, who, as far as a personal preference Mm -hmm. on Jersey artists or or groups comparatively. Right. So the first one is uh, Lauryn Hill versus Queen Latifah. Mm. Shit. (laughs) If I have to pick one, I'm going to pick Queen Latifah. I'm I'm gonna just say why. The reason why I'm a pick queen is because she has multiple projects that are hip hop. Mm. I only recognize Lauren Hill for one solo project, which actually has numerous amount of music on there that's R and B. So Mm. not only that, she nine times out of ten, if you ask her, is gonna say. One of the artists that she looks up to as a female MC is oh, Queen Latifah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm going to run with the Queen on that. One. Uh, you went real technical on that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, who agrees with Reek? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah. Queen Latifah got that one. All right. Next one. Uh, Red Man versus Joe Budden. Mm. It's preference though. Sometimes it's preference. Joe, Joe Buttons is nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Joe like, Buttons is nice. Well, Joe Buttons got bars, I will, man. I feel I, like he don't get enough credit in the game as a whole. Hold know? on. So for me, I listen to Buttons more than Red. Yeah. I'm gonna say that. Nice. Yeah, I listen to I listen to Buttons more than Red. Because those murder, what was it, murder music? No, like move music. Move music. Move music. music. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a classic. He had a bunch. He made that an album. When what is the album, when he bro. start talking about his mental state, Black Cloud and all that? Man. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. But he just stopped actually making new projects. No, like I, I think did. his re- his last one was what Rage in the Machine. Yeah, yeah, fire, yeah. and that yeah. was fire. Shit was crazy. That was fire. Uncle Joe. So you remember Red and his projects, but it's not as many as and all the time. Mm-hmm. I f- I feel like Joe put his foot in it all every time. Yeah, so man. so it's Red Man. So Joe is my guy. All right, here we go. Naughty by Nature or Fuji's? Oh, Naughty. Yeah, Naughty by Nature. Okay, that's an easy one. Yeah, that's easy. Um, okay. I imagine you guys go pretty deep in, um, you know, somewhat of underground. So we got the Outsiders versus Artifacts. <laughs> I'm going to go with the outsiders because they're on the other side of 20. Okay. All right, the neighbors. Yeah. Reek's in deep thought right now. Yeah, as, as I, if I was on Drink Champs, I'd take a shot. Mm-hmm. It's a tough one, right? I'd say the outsiders. I was a big fan of a lot of the old stuff. It's a preference thing. For me, I, I've, I like the artifacts and I've listened to them a lot, but... The Nightlife EP from Outsiders, I've listened to countless times. Countless times. Right, right. Right, it's a hard, it's a hard. It's a preference, like, So I'm going to stay stay to the side. Okay. All right, last one here. Poor Righteous Teachers or Lords of the Underground? Lords. That was an easy one. Unanimous decision. (laughs) But you can't take away from Poor Righteous Teachers, right? Right. I love Poor Righteous Teachers. Incredible. I was about to say we might be we so might be biased. Like, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't even give you a chance. I was gonna say poor Ray's teachers. You said Lord, so I was like, oh. rock this funky joint was hard, but <laughs> Chief Rocker was crazy. <laughs> was always, 